Hey Spartans, welcome back. For all of you who didn't know, QuakeCon the Year of Doom happened this past weekend and it was absolutely amazing and epic. It happened from the 25th to the 28th of July and it had a bunch load of activities and panels that you could attend. You could play the demo for both Wolfenstein Junk Blood and Wolfenstein Cyberpilot, play any Doom you wanted on the Switch and most importantly you could play the Doom Eternal demo. I got to play the Doom Eternal demo a couple of times and my goal was to nail down the feel of the game and discover new mechanics and glory kills throughout the demo. So take this as a preview review of the Doom Eternal demo if you want to. Of course, we weren't allowed to record our gameplay, but we were able to record ourselves playing the gameplay and other people playing. I actually was sitting right beside Dreamcast Guy when playing the demo. That was pretty cool. But anyways, goal is to reach 100k subscribers before November, before Doom Eternal comes out so smash the subscribe button as hard as you can and if you are already part of the sporting army be sure to share comment and like this video to boost this channel to new horizons and tell me did you attend quakecon and if you did did you play the demo leave your answer down below so i played the demo for a couple of times i would have played more times but you needed to register a time to play and you weren't able to register multiple times in one single go so you had to do line all over again to register again for another time. Actually, I had another time to play Doom Eternal. It was on Saturday at 9.30 a.m. but I overslept on my hotel. I woke up at 11.10 so F in the comment section for me, that was pretty bad. <laughs> but yes, if you wanted to play multiple times, you had to do line all over again to register. And registrations close at like 12 p.m. And at that time, I was busy on the main stage with the Doom Eternal panel. But even still, I got a lot of gameplay time through my eyes. So much that I cannot go back to Doom 2016. I just can't. It feels slow actually compared to Doom Eternal. But anyways, let's continue. I do not know if it's because the demo build we played at QuakeCon was turned to times 15 but the demo is hard as hell. You will die a lot. I actually got killed several times by freaking imps and prowlers in the demo and I was playing on medium difficulty which is like hurt me plenty on Doom 2016. The game is built in a way that it encourages you to keep fighting even if your HP is super ultra low like 10 HP or something like that. The times I died in my playthrough were because I got scared and began trying to make an escape and every time I did that everything got worse. I died because I turned my back to the demons that were shooting at me and because I couldn't find any HP pickups laying on the ground. So the game being the power fantasy that it is and wanting to make you feel powerful as a Doom Slayer encourages you to stay in the fight. You have low HP, should an imp dash your way through the horde and glory kill him. Need ammo, you can instantly change to the lower tier demons. Need shields, set your enemies on fire to get shield pickups. And that last one is really overpowered because you do not need to kill demons to get shield pickups. I cannot express just how many times I was about to die and use the flamethrower to give me like 60% of my shield capacity. It is a lifesaver. The AI behavior in this game is stupendous. They are not just mindlessly shooting at you at the same time. They are built in a way that makes you feel cornered, but the game also gives you the tools to get out of the danger zones, so the feeling of this being a pure power fantasy stays the same. This is going to sound really weird, but I couldn't think on another way to put it or explain it. But I felt like this was Dark Souls mixed with Doom, but not in a sense that the game kills you unfairly like in Dark Souls, but in the sense that you need to have all of your senses turned up to 11 on the higher difficulties. The game does feel slow, but that was because the field of view was set to 90. Try playing Doom 2016 on a 90 field of view and it will be slow as hell. But even if it felt slow, you're pretty much flying with the dash and mid hook abilities. The amount of crazy movement based tricks you will be able to do in this game are ridiculous and will be ridiculous. Now add a field of view slider of 130 and you will be faster than circle strafing doom guy pretty much. I did a test on how much time it will take the demons to kill you if you stood still and it took no longer than 2 seconds. Uh, that's pretty fast and you saw Hugo do it in the panel. He stood still for 2 seconds and almost died. 
The Hell Knights, Barons, Dread Knights and Prowlers are all there to pressure the hell out of you. They are pressure units. And if you are not careful, you are going to die a lot. The Arachnatrons are back to be the most annoying demon ever. They are tuned really aggressively and they do not move like in the trailer. These dudes, I feel like I was scamming the trailer. These dudes are able to dodge rockets point blank with their sidesteps. When I first met the Arachnatron, I tried to kill it with a rocket launcher. I only shot like two rockets on his direction, and right when I was turning to kill the other demon besides me, in the corner of my eye, I saw the Arachnatron pretty much sidestep so fast, it reminded me to Dragon Ball and their teleportation abilities. It felt like the Arachnatron was teleporting, like, that was... His, his sidestep is so freaking fast, just like a spider pretty much. Every time you see a Prowler teleport, check behind you because he's most likely there. The Prowler is said to be as annoying as the Arachnatron as well. But then again, even if some of the demons are just there to make your life impossible like the Arachnatron, the Dread Knight and Hell Knight and the Prowler, if you master the gameplay loop, which you will, you will feel like a god pretty much. The only thing I didn't like about the demo was that there was a 3 to 5 minute tutorial on every single mechanic. Come on, this is Doom. We can learn everything just by playing. Just the press of a button and that's it. I guess that the tutorial was there because of the press, and we all know just how salty the press can get if the game is too hard. Another thing that I really liked were the new glory kills. Huge props, like Huge props to the animation team, I actually met some of them at QuakeCon and they told me that coming up with new glory kill animations is super fun to do. So if you run out of ideas, hit me up because I have quite a dozen to tell you. <laughs> the glory kills are amazing and so freaking metal. There's one where the Doomslayer does like a sub-zero fatality where it grabs the neck of the unwilling. Another one where the Doomslayer sweeps the leg of an unwilling, grabs him by the neck and the torso and turns his back where it's not supposed to turn. Another one where the Doomslayer sweeps the leg of a nymph and cuts him in half with the arm blade. And another one where he cuts off the legs and the head of an unwilling too at the same time. And one of my favorites that they didn't show was one where you open like a tab in the size of the Arachnatron, grab one of his grenades, open his mouth and throw the grenade inside of it. That was really cool when I discovered that. For me, even though glory kills are something said to take you out of your control for two seconds, for me, glory kills are part of the experience. That's why God of War was so metal and brutal in the first place, because of how good were the glory kills in God of War. Each level of Doom Eternal is going to be packed with tons and tons of secrets. And they're not going to be secrets where you just walk in a secret hallway and that's it. No, secrets in the sense of press this button, now go all the way back, enter this little vent, then drop out of the map, double jump and use your dash in this direction and voila, you just found a secret. Well, not exactly like that, but remember that there are turning off dying when falling out of the map. So one of the reasons for doing that is obviously because there are going to be some secrets that will require you to jump out of the map. Hugo teased a little bit too much the Golden Gornest and let me tell you, the Golden Gornests are obviously going to be a challenge to beat. And of course, it's software being it's software, I know that at least one of the Golden Gornest encounters is going to spawn 12 Archvals at the same time. If someone at it software is watching this right now, which now I know they do, please it software developer, stray from to Hugo's office at 57 miles per hour and tell him that a golden gorness encounter that spawns 12 arch falls at the same time would be the best thing to do in the game. Also, I was talking to some of the Bethesda staff and quite surprisingly, but this demo took place in just one level, and the demo was over 25 minutes long. And these are words from Bethesda, but each level will be at least 2 hours long. So the campaign is going to be humongous and huge. <laughs> Thanks for watching. It's okay Spartans, please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. Leave a like if you did, and leave a dislike if you didn't. As always, if you played the Doom Eternal demo at QuakeCon, please let me know your thoughts down below below because I want to know the thoughts and opinion about everyone about this demo because for me it was one of the best games I've played 
obvi obviously in my life, like it was so fun to play. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram and on Twitch in the Discord server, you will not regret my Spartans and thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Space Marine section, Florian Hablewetz and Awesome Bro Daniel, my dad pretty much. Uh, the Doomsayer section, uh, Chris, Shades, Oliveri, and Grayson West. Thank you all so much for the support on the channel. And so, okay, Spartan, I'll see you guys tomorrow in a Titan video. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Bye.